How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios and today I want to talk to you guys about DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service where they could get your music into iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, all that stuff. So it's a super super cheap but very good service. It's only $19.99 a year and that will cover you no matter how many uploads you do, unlimited uploads, it's only that $19.99 a year. Plus if you use my code down below, if you click on that link, you'll get 7% off that first year, so it'll be even less. So when you first sign up with DistroKid, you have a couple of options to choose from. There's the musician plan, which is the $19.99 a year. This is where most people fall under. If you simply just want to get your music out there onto Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all the different online retailers, this is the route to go because it's just you uploading your music. You're not uploading a bunch of people's music. You're not a label. You're not anything like that. Simply getting your music out there and you could do unlimited uploads of your own music, uh, which is cool. So it's only $19.99 a year and that is super affordable. Now, if you were two artists uh, or you want some of these upgraded features, then it would be $35.99 a year and the extra benefit to this one is you could upload one artist, say your artist name, and another artist under a different artist name. You could upload like that. Maybe you're in a group and you have two different artists that you want to be able to upload your stuff individually under two different names. You could do that. Or maybe you just want the extra features. So the extra features that would come with this one, you get these daily sales stats, which is cool, customizable label name, customizable release date, a pre-order date and iTunes pricing all customizable. So that is a little bonus feature. If you want to pay a little more every year to be able to get that, then that's something you can do. So if you're a label and you're releasing five to a hundred different artists uh, music through DistroKid, then you'd be using the label feature so you could access all of the same features as the Musician Plus, but you have access to release for more artists under different names. Okay, so that's the difference between the plans. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the features that I think are really cool here. I'm gonna go over to My Music. So under the My Music tab right here, we have our albums listed here, any singles, any releases that you've done through DistroKid will be listed right here. And you could click on it and get more information, but let's just look at this part right now. This is an artist I released an album for a long time ago. and uh, we put it out on Amazon Music, Apple Music, a bunch of little smaller stores I've never even heard of. It's out on those as well. Uh, Spotify, Tidal. It's even out on the Instagram slash Facebook music option. So you know how when you're on Instagram and you could add music to a story, then this song or his music can show up in there. So it puts it into that system as well, which is a cool feature to have. Um, that could really help build if your fans want to put your songs in the background of something that they're doing, that's a good feature to have and then just gives you more awareness. Um, the Teams feature, super cool. You could split up the percentages. So for example here, this song by Tony Luck, it's a Soul Revolution. I have a 25% split and that's because I worked on the beat on this song and I get 25% of all streaming and sales uh, for this song and DistroKid automatically pays me my percentage. I don't have to worry about splitting it up after the fact. It's just I get my percentage, Tony Luck gets his percentage and so on. So I do the same thing with Kid Swami. I get 5% of his uh, these three songs right here. So I automatically get paid out 5% of all streaming or sales uh, directly into my DistroKid bank. So that's something that's super cool, but everybody has to be on DistroKid to get paid out their splits. Now, if you're wanting to get onto DistroKid, or if you're wanting, if you're already on DistroKid and you want artists to get their splits, what you would do is just go up here to Teams, and then you can see here automated payments to everyone on your team. You have to do the release through your account in order to do the team split. So I released underneath the underground. This is the arson uh, upload that I did for him. Now you can see Kid Swami and uh, the Tony Luck songs are not in here. And the reason is because that was uploaded by them. So they have to do the splits. Because I uploaded this, I could do a split. So if I wanted to, I'll select that and go ahead and press next. If you are getting a split from somebody else, 
it will send you an invitation code. So if you got an invite code, you would click this link and just enter in that code and then it, it will automatically show up in your account with the percentage that they gave you. But if you're doing the percentage yourself for the other artists, then you would go ahead, select the release, press next. And I could put it like this, let's say a revenue share, this is for one of the songs. I could go 20% for, uh, for say me, and then a new team member, let's put them at like 80%, so it finishes it at 100% of the song. It just needs to have 100% total. And then I could put their email address and it'll send out their invite code and that could make it to where they could put it into their system and they'll get their 80%. So it's super simple to get it set up to do your splits and you don't have to worry about after the fact, like, oh, did I actually get my percentage and all that, DistroKid will do it for you. Now, if you don't have a DistroKid account and somebody's trying to send you that invite code to get your percentage, your split, then what you could do is sign up and they'll give you a 50% discount coupon uh, for your first year and that's to get you signed up and collect your earnings. So it's a super cool feature. Highly recommend using that. Let's look at the upload. So because I have the upgraded account, I do have some extra features in here, but I will point out which ones are the extra feature. So what you do is simply select all of the stores that you want to be put into. So there's smaller outlets down here, 150 plus different ones. If you wanna be in all those little ones as well, go ahead and check that. Just go ahead and check whatever you want. Maybe you only wanna be in uh, say Spotify and Apple Music, iTunes, the big ones. So you could just select the big ones up here and then unselect these other ones down here and it'll only put you in what you choose. So that's a cool feature is to be able to select exactly where your music goes. Uh, number of songs, is it just a single that you're uploading or is it an album? How many songs are in it? You could go all the way up to 35, but let's just say we're doing a single right now. So for the previously released, uh, most likely you're uploading a song for the first time and you'll just go ahead and select no. But if it was released in the past, then you can put yes and have an original release date for it. I did this for the Arson upload and on iTunes, you could see that it is saying it was released. Uh, the original published date is 2014 because that's when it was originally released before being put on iTunes and all that. So you can do that, but uh, most likely it's a first time release. You'll go ahead and press no. Artist or band name, go ahead and type it in here. Uh, say I'm Raw Technique Studios is my artist name. So I'll be the first one named Raw Technique Studios on Apple Music. I'll be the first one named Raw Technique Studios on Spotify. That's good if you don't have anything out already. If you already have something out, you should show up. So for example, if you're Tech9, then once I click that, it'll say, oh, tech Nine's already in Apple Music, in iTunes. Uh, tech Nine's already in Spotify. So if you're already in there, just go ahead and select, yes, that's me. Uh, you could click the links to make sure that's you. And then you just select, yes, that's me, yes, that's me, and so on. So for release date, this is that custom feature. If you have the upgraded account, you could select a customizable release date. If you do not have the upgraded account, then you would simply just, it would release when it gets put out. So this is the upgraded feature. Pre-order, that's an upgraded feature as well. Um, you could let people pre-order if you want. So for record label, this is the upgraded uh, account where you could do customizable record label. If you do this, where it shows up, for example, in iTunes would be under here, under publishing. So you can see I did a customizable release date. I said 2014, even though we released this on iTunes after that date, but customizable release date, a customizable record label, which goes under the publishing here. So publish 2018, which was when it was uploaded to unsigned underground artists. And that's what we typed in right here. He wanted it unsigned underground artist is the record label name. You would upload the cover. This is for everybody. Just make sure you follow the optimal size, the dimensions, everything like that. Language, genre. So for example, I would put like hip hop and rap. Secondary genre is optional, but you could do that as well. And then you just go ahead and put in the song. So let's say this is called single uh, song. And then it gives you a bunch of examples. You wanna make sure you follow these and get it right because if it's done wrong, then it'll show up wrong. So, or it could get denied by Spotify or iTunes if it's not laid out how they like it. 
So it gives you examples of what is correct. For example, the name of the song and then how to deal with features. You would do it like that. But for just a regular song, I'm just gonna name it whatever it's called. And the name of this song is single song. All right, so songwriter, I wrote the song or managed the songwriter. Uh, yes, but if it's cover song, you would put it in here and read through all of this, put in the original artist and original song title. But for an original song, you just say you wrote the song. Uh, songwriter's real name for the music, the lyrics, or did you do both? You could go ahead and do that. So let's say for the music, this is the producer's name. So you would put the real legal name, not your what you go by, your actual legal name. And then you can add another one for, say, someone who did just the lyrics, your legal name, not your stage name. And then that's how you would split that out. If you did it yourself, then you would just go music and lyrics, so you wrote everything. Explicit lyrics, yes or no, so does it curse or not. Uh, is this a radio edit, so is it a clean version, yes or no. Uh, track price, this is the customizable feature if you have the upgraded account. You could do the standard 99 cents or 69 cents or $1.29. You can see for this release we did customizable 69 cent pricing. Uh, audio file, you want to make sure this is a higher quality. Uh, Wave is the standard for like CD quality. I would stick with Wave. You can do these other ones as well. MP3, I personally wouldn't upload just because it's a lower quality. Um, but I would say go with Wave file. Instrumental, does it have lyrics or not? For example, this trip beat is just a beat. So this song is an instrumental, contains no lyrics. But most songs are going to contain lyrics, so you select that. This is that Instagram and Facebook feature I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's free, so might as well do it. It goes into Instagram's music stores, which lets the users add your music to their post. And this is just a good way to spread the word. It's I would definitely add it in there. Um, so I would click that. Store Maximizer, if you want to do this, you could pay extra for it. Uh, Shazam and iPhone Siri, if you want people be able to use Shazam or iPhone Siri to like listen to a song and find out what it is. It's only 99 cents a year. So that's a cool feature if you want to add it on. And then leave a legacy, $29 one-time fee, non-reoccurring. Uh, this means that they'll never delete it from a store due to a lapsed district code membership. So if you don't pay your $20 a year fee, then uh, this for sure locks it in. So even if you died and that's why you didn't pay your DistroKid fee, you're locked in and you'll continue to make 100% of the royalties forever. Now, something I wanna show you, if you have a certain genre, for example, I changed it from hip hop to pop, you do get an, a different option here, which is YouTube money. YouTube money, you pay $4.95 a year plus 20% of the YouTube ad revenue of all the matches it uh, detects. And this is getting your music into YouTube's content ID system. This is something that is, I'm not sure why, but it's only available to certain genres. But um, yeah, it gets it into the YouTube content ID system. YouTube content ID makes it to where it's like a fingerprint and it could see anyone who uses that song in their video. It'll place ads on those videos and collect money from it and then pay you out. So they're saying they'll take 20% of that money that gets paid out and it's $4.95 per year to have it into that system. So that's something you could do if you want to do it through DistroKid. If not, you could do it through other services. So for example, if you are uploading the hip hop slash rap, you can see that feature goes away. There are other services out there that you could use to get your songs into the content ID system. So it's not a big deal. That is something that's optional for certain genres. Uh, Alright, so if you selected YouTube Music, okay. Um, if you don't want your music on YouTube, then go ahead and unselect it. So you would just go over here and take it off of YouTube Music, and that will go away. You just have to say that you recorded this music, you're authorized to sell it. So yes, uh, I'm not using any other artist names or anything like that. Yes, I have read the agreement. Yes, and then I press Done. Okay, so that's all it is to get your music uploaded to all these different services. It's a really simple form uh, to go through, but that's all you have to do. So this is an upgraded feature as well. This is the daily stats if you use that uh, Musicians Plus or the label feature. And this shows you streams over the last, yeah, what, yesterday, 7 days, 30 days, 60, and 365. 
uh, so the whole year. You can see just Spotify, you can see Apple Music, iTunes, and Amazon, all albums, or select just a single thing to display. Uh, I can select just the artist that I'm trying to see here, and it'll give you some graphs and stuff. So if you want access to that, that is the upgraded feature as well. Um, that is, let me just show you the bank. So here's your bank. You can see your store breakdown to where you get like extremely detailed. So you could just see the overall, like here's iTunes, Apple Music, so on, what you get uh, paid out. If you click on the excruciating detail, then you can see every single stream that the date, the month that it was reported, the sale month, the store, the artist, the title, how many times it was streamed or sold, the song, uh, is it a song or an album, the country that it was streamed or sold in, and the earnings that you got per that stream or sell. So you can see how much you get paid exactly. So it's like 0 0.0033 cents for this stream, and then so on and so on and so on. Uh, that's how that works. If you're on that Teams feature where you have splits, you can see right here, 25% of the team. So this is what I'm earning from 25%. So for example, this time on iTunes, it made a sale for $1.29 and I get 25% of that. So I would get the 22 cents from that sale. And then you see all the 25% uh, of the stream I also get as well. And then if you click on this little gear under your settings, you could just access all of your account, uh, your receipts, your referral program. So once you sign up with DistroKid, and you know how it's like, oh, you could get 7% off for signing up, that's their referral program. If you click on that, they'll give you a code, and this makes it to where you can get referrals, and you make $5 every time somebody signs up. And you can see I've had several people click on the link, and a couple people sign up for it. So that's just a, an extra way to share the word of a great service and make some money off of it as well. Um, and then you can see all the other links right here. Uh, that's everything with DistroKid. It's a super simple service to use, super cheap, and I highly, highly recommend it. So if you guys want 7% off your first year, go ahead and click that link down below in the description. You could sign up there. So thank you guys for watching this. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.